All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make an awesome product video that looks like this. So we're gonna make this awesome product video and first thing you're gonna need is your product. We're gonna use whiskey and then you're gonna need a space. And honestly, for these kind of product videos, what I love about them is you can get super creative and you can pretty much do it in any space that you want as long as you have certain tools that we'll go over in a second. But let's focus on this first. So we're gonna use this whiskey bottle. I just wanna say that I'm not sponsored in any way by Kentucky Best. I just bought this whiskey because I really like the label and we're gonna make a cool video with it. So speaking of the label, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to focus on is, see this back part? This is the main thing that you wanna take off before you start shooting. While using a razor blade and some soap and water, you can easily peel and remove this. And that's what, what that's gonna do is allow the light to shine through without blocking through the back so that you get a nice glow on your whiskey. And then now I'm gonna set up all the lights and we're gonna go from there. Disclaimer. By making this tutorial video, I do not pretend to think I know everything about filmmaking. This is just the techniques that I have. I know there may be better techniques or different techniques, but I hope this helps you because we're all just learning and I'm always learning too. So I hope you enjoy. Disclaimer. All right, so this is the setup that I came up with. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is our label light or key light. You have a little bit of different terms. As you can see, if, once Kendall comes a little bit closer, you can see I kind of jimmy rigged it right here because the trick is, is you wanna create a spotlight and you want it to always be on the left. Not always, but most of the time you want it to be on the left because what you're gonna do is see right here with the label, you want it to hit on the label and have a gradient over. And I'm using an Aperture 300D. You can use something a lot lighter, but this is only one, one of the only lights that I have, so this is why we're using this. And then I used a pretty much gaff tape, the back of another light, and a plastic tube to create this spot. And that's what's creating this label light. The next light is our top light right here. This gives a nice top uh, outline to the bottle and it gives a little shape for the cap and the curves. I like to use that because that kind of accentuates the bottle a little bit. And then our last, but a most important, not our last, but our most important light is our backlight right here. And that's, see how we set up this black? We got a black fabric to set up for the back. And then we used uh, Aperture 300 again with the Fresnel and then barn doors. And what that does is we created a hot spot right here to create that white that you see and then a black sheet so it gradients into a black. Right now we have the overhead lights on so you can see me, but once we turn them off, you can see what I'm talking about. The next is I have this backlight right here that's shining right onto the, the top of the bottle that kind of gives it a little bit of glow. Um, it's not necessary 100%, but we're using it just because I wasn't sure if we we're gonna be able to get this light to work. And this is our last light, which is kind of the trick that makes the bottle glow. I have this, this is a Canon 1DX Mark II. I have it on a slider, but you don't need fancy equipment to do the same thing. You can even have it on a tripod, you could have it on a stabilizer, or you can even have it just on a regular slider that's not motorized like this. So um, this is just to show you an example of how I did it, but you can digitally push in by just putting it on a tripod. You don't need to have a fancy slider. I just like using this because I do a lot of product videos, and so this is important for me. I got a piece of glass with black fabric. That's what creates this reflection right here, as you can see. And then again, here's this backlight. If I remove it, you don't have that glow as you can see in the camera right now. So that's pretty much the setup for the first shot. The first shot is important. You wanna make sure you haven't opened the bottle, you make sure you get a pristine bottle. And what we're gonna do is just really just capture a full body shot of the bottle. First shot that I always do is capture the full body shot. Then I start worrying about the details because you wanna make sure that you have the full body shot before you start damaging, opening, using the bottle, anything like that. So this is our first shot. We're just gonna do a nice simple push in 
and reveal this with a nice reflection and the glow and the black background with the white spot. So now I'm gonna turn off the overhead lights. Make sure you don't have any light leaking anywhere. Try to block out all your windows because any of that's gonna show up onto the bottle in video. It's a little bit easier in photo because you can change your settings, but this we're a little bit more locked in with our settings. So right now I'm running at 50 frames, 4K, 20, I mean, sorry, 23.9876 at 4K. Uh, my shutter's 50. I'm at a five on a 16 to 35. And I'm, my ISO's at 400 because that's a native ISO for a 1DX Mark II. All right, so I'm gonna turn off these lights right here and then we are gonna run it. And it's gonna give a nice slow push in, creating a very beautiful look. So the next shot that we're getting is the final shot. And the, what I did is I brought in a glass in the cube and I filled some whiskey. The bottle's still intact because it's a nice pull away shot. And uh, we started on the label close up right here. And then we had the slider pull back and revealing the whiskey glass right next to it with the full bottle. The only thing that we changed with the lighting, the lighting lighting's exactly the same, is we just moved this bottle over a little bit and then we brought in a, a side light right there, um, which is just a regular light, turn it on and then put a diffuser and it gives a nice glow and white ridge right here onto the edge which outlines the glass. Um, when you're getting glasses, make sure that you invest in nice glasses because nice glasses are really gonna sell for, especially when you're doing any kind of beverage. Make sure it's the right type of glass. These are whiskey glasses. And then the other thing is, if you see right in here, these are acrylic ice cubes. You don't wanna use actual ice cubes because you'll be switching them out all the time. You can get both of these things. You can get the ice cubes for maybe like 50 of them, I think, for 20 bucks on Amazon. And same, you can get a pair of two glasses, uh, whiskey glasses for $20, I think as well, or close to around there on Amazon as well. So that's step two. For the next shot, this is how I got the spinning bottle shots where um, I kind of focus on different details of these cool labels. So I'm still using the slider. I switched to a 100 on the macro. Um, if you're gonna use a macro, these Canon 100 macro L series lenses are amazing. But make sure if you ever use a macro that you should be at a 5.6 or higher, because otherwise you're gonna start kind of lose, it's gonna be too fuzzy around it. You need to make sure that the image is sharp enough. So I say always a 5.6 to a, a nine is probably a safe bet, meaning that you're gonna need a little bit more light. So you might wanna bump your ISO up a little bit. I think I'm at 400 right now. I'm still shooting at 24 frames. I haven't shot any slow-mo stuff yet. Um, this is a spinner that I got off Amazon. This is a little bit more expensive, but again, like I said, I shoot a lot of product stuff. I think this runs you about 60 bucks and you can change it in different directions. This runs you about $8 and this is what I used for some of my older ones. Um, you can use this just fine and you can spin it by hand yourself and actually control it. It does work fine, but the problem is, is you got a little bit of wobble with this one. So you might be able to find a better one just with reviews on Amazon, but there's just a lazy Susan and that's kind of the trick. And what we're going to do is literally just push in and whoops. And what we're going to do is push in like this or it's not going to listen to me. Oh, there we go. Push in. And as the bottle's spinning around, it's going to focus right on the label. I didn't time it up for this one, but you get the idea. And you can kind of put it at different angles. You can put it sideways so they're kind of crossing paths. There's so many different ways that you can do it. Um, and then also, here is the acrylic ice, just to show you guys. This is the pack that I got for like 12 bucks. It comes with tons of them, so super worthy investment right there. All right, my lovely assistant slash girlfriend, when she's not mad at me. And all right, so what we have here is now we have our new setup. Um, we still have the top light right here. This is just an eye can at 5,600 pointing straight down. And then we have the diffusion over there with the other eye can. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that it hits, let me turn this on real fast. What you wanna make sure you do is you want it to hit so it's creating a highlight right along here. So you wanna make sure that you slide far enough back into the side to create this highlight and it really brings out the edge of the glass, which makes it really pretty. And then we have this last one right here, which is a hard light. 
and what that's doing, it's kind of pointing from the back and it's creating another line on this side and just making it a little bit more dynamic, lighting up these cubes and really gonna make the whiskey pop once it hits the glass. We put this on uh, 60 frames at 120 shutter. I think I'm at a 5.0 and we still have the 300D in the background. We got rid of the other 300D that's still creating that spotlight in the back. Um, so the trick with all this is make sure your glass is really clean and then make sure you find a, a spot that you like and then set up your, your ice to make it look a little bit more dynamic. And I think I like it right there. Perfect. And what Kendall's gonna do is she's gonna pour when I tell her to. And the trick is, is you wanna hit along here. If you hit right here, it starts splashing and it's gonna create a lot of splatter. And it might take us a few tries because it does, it is very hard to do. But um, yeah, so she's gonna try to hit right along here so it hits and kind of loops in. Because otherwise splatter, and then you're gonna get all these spots on the glass and that doesn't look very good. Two, one, pour. Okay, so now we're outside and we're gonna do the entering the bottle shot. It's kind of an idea that I came up with. Right now we got, sorry, this tile's gonna be used for me to bite onto the other part of the slider. We, we got the black magic on the Elder Crone and then I just put a regular tripod head. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna literally slide straight down as she's opening the bottle so it looks like we're entering inside the bottle. Um, we're shooting at 4K, 120, and hopefully this will turn out well. If not, it was kind of a cool attempt. Uh, it's pretty windy, so we shall see. One sec. All ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. All right, guys, I apologize. Uh, on the last shot, my mic went out and my hands are a little bit full for me to notice. So what I was doing here is the same exact thing as the setup before we're outside and we have the Liowa pro blends um i have a plastic bottle that i cut in half and flipped upside down and taped to two c stands and while i'm sliding the camera through the bottle kendall's going to be pouring the alcohol and that's what gets this shot all right thank you for watching my tutorial i hope this helped share your creations with me and please like and subscribe below, comment if you have any questions and I'd love to help you. And until next time.